Hey guys, it's Piggy Pussy Destroyer 77 here. Now I know this isn't going to be with the usual content of the channel, but I thought that this was well worth the extracurricular effort it would take you to listen to me talk about this particular topic. The topic of which is the holy grail of retardation, the golden ratio of stupidity, the Sistine Chapel of autism. This is in reference, of course, to the fact that now, since January 1st, people from Oregon can now pump their own gas in rural counties. The problem with this is that there have since been the idea of a full service gas station where you have a gas attendant come in and pump your gas for you for safety reasons or just for the luxury of having a callback to the good old days of slavery. And what happened is that now the vocal minority has caused a riplash effect in Facebook where all attention has been drawn on this very vocal few that have many different complaints about pumping gas. Now, amidst the trolls, there is some actual truth to the belief behind some of these people, of which we're gonna actually go over today. The first one here is by your friend and mine, Tina Good, who says that it's not a good idea. There are a lot of people who have an attendant helping. One is they need a job too. Many people are not capable of knowing how to pump gas and the hazards of not doing it correctly. Besides, I don't wanna go to work smelling like gas when I get it on my hands or clothes. I agree, very bad idea. This comment has since been ass blasted to no avail. You have the image of somebody pulling up to a gas station and not knowing what to do with the gas pump. Maybe using it to pour it all over your car, maybe drinking from it, gas spilling everywhere. Never once thinking, oh, maybe this goes into the designated hole in my car designed just for this very reason. Now the part that's astonishing to me is the fact that these people were given licenses to begin with. These people had to go to the DMV, they had to sit there and wait, they had to pass that driving test, and yet, on the way out, once their car ran out of gas, if they happened to go to a gas station that wasn't full service, they're completely and utterly fucked. What happens when their car runs out of gas and they're not near a full service station? Do they just leave their car as it is? Do they purchase another car? Fuck, so many questions. Sandy Franklin here says, I don't even know how to pump gas and I'm 62, native Oregonian. I say no thanks, I don't want to smell like gasoline. One of the selling points here is people smelling like gasoline, which is apparently a big issue in Oregon where people do not want to smell like gas. However, they don't have an issue with smelling like beer and regret. Here's a great comment by a fantastic troll in Tim Stodard that says, this one time I had to pump my own gas, I literally died. There I was, barely 10 a.m., low on fuel. I stopped to have some less important than me person fill up my tank, but he had the nerve to be off that day. So like 1930s Russia, I'm there against my own will to try to do menial labor so I could ride around another few hours listening to my smash mouth tape. It was an instant disaster. I am moving the handle thing from the pump thing. After fumbling with for nearly six minutes, I found a hole in my car where it goes. Halfway through it, a puma attacked me. My grandma is still sitting there freezing. No ride. Rockstar playing endlessly on loop. Poor Graham Graham. William Webb chimes in with, I'm a native Oregonian and I have to say qualified fuel expert technicians should be allowed to handle the heavy duty machinery that is a gas pump. These deadly devices could easily be used in an act of terrorism or even worse, domestic terrorism. I will not feel safe in these rural areas and if it ever comes to the city I will live, I will move to Canada. It's because Trump took office. He's forcing us to do this. I gotta say, William, in my ever longing quest to find employment, I never thought once that I could be a qualified fuel expert technician. I can only dream of a world in kindergarten where people are asked, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? And little Timmy raises his hand and he says, hey, Ms. Johnson, I want to be a qualified fuel expert technician. Now this particular comment, I don't know if it's true or not, but Justin Hedrich Rosier says, I've been driving in Oregon for over 49 years and this causes me some concern. I'm legally blind and not sure that pumping gas is safe if I can't see what I'm doing. Either this is a crafting of an excellent troll, or there's truly a man named Justin Heidrich Rosier. That, that's it. This one right here by Dina Luttrell Rudisheim says, love the ignorant comments from non-Oregonians. I can pump my own gas. I don't like it. I like the convenience of not getting out in 105 degree weather and dodging yellow jackets. I enjoy staying in my warm car where there's sideways rain. You like pumping your own gas in your own state? Yay for you, but real Oregonians treasure the unique things that outsiders try to come in and change. No self-serve gas and sales tax. There are plenty of other states that have those wonderful things. Feel free to avoid backwards Oregon. 
we're not happy to have you. Well, last Dina, the Jim Crow laws that you so seek have been since abolished. Oh, the good old days. So it's a great threat to read if you guys happen to be very bored. I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll end this video with a couple instances of file footage since January 1st from Oregon. Whee!